What's up, YouTube? Holy. Holy tube. Holy it's, tube. It's your boys, Idiot Syncratic, back at it again. Play the play. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Yeah, we made it, boys. We live. We, we made live, it 2018, baby. halfway through. We live. Oh, dude, my birthday's in like a few weeks. Does anybody actually I mean, care about that? I know I don't. Wait, let's let's stop this intro and talk about that. For let's a talk second. about your birthday then. How old are you going to be, Patrick? 29. <laughs> really? I no. knew it. I was going to say, I thought you were younger than You me. look older than that 23-year-old who looks 23 year, years old older than he does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm going to be 26. Congratulations. Thank you. I forgot that you're that young. Thank you. So, Patrick, tell me, how does it feel to be 26? I don't know. I'm not there yet. How, tell me, Alex. How does it feel point. to be 26? That's a good point. <laughs> how did it feel to be 26? I can't remember. It was so long ago. It was so many years ago. Tell me, Patrick. It's like half it, a year ago. How does it feel to almost be turning 26? I guess I should say. I don't care. doesn't matter because I'm the host for this episode and uh, Justin's my co-host and this is Patrick. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Oh. Hi. Hi, my name's Patrick. This is Patrick. It's a pleasure to be here. That's uh, him. Hi. Yeah, you you YouTubers with your eyes probably oh. may may know this guy. He's a YouTube personality. <laughs> it's me, Jake Paul. <laughs> Look at Tim. Yeah. We finally got him on. He does vlogs about bass gear. Bass gear, bass stuff, basses. Vlog me up. Yeah, so you go, go. if you're a baser, then go uh, check out his channel, which uh, you're going to have to wait till the end to see where it is. because that's We how, only do plugs at the end. That's how we do it here. Really? We only do plugs at the end? Yeah. Hey, where you at? Where can we find you at? It doesn't oh, matter because oh. we yeah. do them at the end. <laughs> In your... F- mm. <laughs> we just said that. We just said what we were going to do. <laughs> yep. All right. So on today's show, we're getting into trolling academia, uh, which is about when you you go to school and you just... Um, everything people say, you just... You have like an air horn and you go... <laughs> every time anybody tries to talk. How did you know? You always say that. It sounds like every <laughs> class that happens at TCU, I feel. I've never been to TCU. Neither have I. I don't like Thank frogs. Thank God. I hate frogs. In, just in general. Frogs. Just in general. Really? They've done literally nothing to you. Uh, have you ever seen a frog? Yeah, they're chills, fuck. No, they hurt your eyes. Because <laughs> they're fucking ugly. He's like the only like frog he's ever seen is like Hypno Toad from and they, Futurama. <laughs> they look like, Hypno Toad. They, they look like they smell bad. Uh, I'm they do. sure they do because they're reptiles. They smell very bad. You know the funny thing about reptiles? You never went c- catching frogs? Everybody's got one. Um, uh, yeah, so we <laughs> can't really figure that one out. <laughs> so, yeah, and my interest for today is why Greeks are nasty. <laughs> I still have not figured this one out yet. <laughs> you probably won't. I feel like a Greek, was, a Greek man was shitting outside your window. One Greek. One Greek. And uh, I really wish One that Greek was the case all. because... <laughs> it's worse than that? I, I would never... No. Actually, yeah, it is worse than that. But um, that would just give me a story for a lifetime, you know? That's true. For And a future lifetime movie. <laughs> oh, my God. That would also... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for a lifetime movie. No. <laughs> That would give me the ultimate one upper for like people's story of like sometime a crazy st- thing happened. Mm-hmm. Like I would just one up people all day. Like as soon as somebody started talking about like a hobo story or something, they're like, "Oh, there was this crazy hobo." I would instantly get excited <laughs> and I just I would just listen to them and let them finish their story and I'd just be like, it'd just be sitting in my back pocket the whole time and I'd be like, "Really? One time a hobo shit outside my window." <laughs> and here's the DVD and- of the Lifetime movie they made about it. <laughs> And he was Greek. Yeah, it's like, hey, what are you doing out there? I'm shitting, I'm shitting, and I'm Greek. <laughs> <laughs> the Greek that leaked. He was, he was eating a euro. Zero. Zero. All right. Uh, let's see. And Patrick, for uh, Idiot Syncratic First, is bringing <laughs> dual interests. Do we decide I'm doing both? Yeah. You I don't know, my yeah, man. We, is we, that what you're doing? I'm, I'm going to do both. All right. Yeah, you're doing personality disasters, which are, I don't, I don't know. And, uh, it's when you have a disastrous personality. Also, jalapeno heart. Hop in this heart. Ew. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. God. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> I mean, the jalapeno heart one is where my heart is really at. Honestly. So spicy. So. Oh, I can't do too much spice. So you got to remember, I'm still white. Oh yeah, yeah still white. But salt, he drinks, he, salt is very. What spicy. you're saying is he drinks milk and he's like. Ah. What you're saying is you love cheese and. Mm. Uh, corn products in water. Uh, so free holes. Also, uh, la bandera. Mm-hmm. 
which is uh, that bum outside your window had a free hole. <laughs> I'm Greek. <laughs> It's me, the Greek shooter. Oh, we broke him again. Sorry, I was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's hop into those. <laughs> okay, who's going first? <laughs> I'll tell you in a second because I haven't decided yet. Ooh, let me bookend Ooh. it. You want to bookend it? Yeah, I'm we gonna, need, I'm gonna do want... one, then you two, and then oh, end it on my other one. Oh, that's cool. This that's cool. guy. I'm, All right, I'm, All right. I'm changing it up. All right, Patty. Okay, you, you call the shots today. Oh, I'll let you guys choose which ones you want to start with. Okay. Jalapeno heart. Yeah, we bitch. Already, we already kind of started talking about it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jalapeno heart. So, I do. Um, essentially, we're not talking about jalapeno specifically, but Mexican food. <gasps> I love. But aren't they all the same Mexican thing? Food. Like cuisine, yeah, Mexican. Like, I love Mexican food, but most importantly, I love Hispanic culture just in general. Like I, I met my girlfriend's uh, grandmother. She's in from Mexico City. Oh, nice. For a month. Mm. And she's just so like loving Technology and very class. just like uh, when we said goodbye to her yesterday, she was just like, I want you to know that my house in Mexico is your house. And I was just like, my hurt. I bet, I bet, I bet you would totally go if you wouldn't have been kidnapped. And she has to say that. True. Yeah. But yeah, no, right. <laughs> Actually, Mexico City is dope. Yeah. But getting um, there. No, you can just fly. You can just fly. Yeah, but just, I want you to take the bus to experience the full thing. <laughs> just avoid the border. Don't drive. <laughs> don't drive. Don't ever drive. I've never driven in my life before, so. There you go. Perfect. It works out perfectly. What is a car? Did she call you mijo? Mm-mm. Not yet. I, I mean, she doesn't like you that much. I, I was, she was called Mexican. both an honorary Mexican and an honorary Cuban yesterday, so. Oh, she's Cuban? No. So, uh, wait, so you got Valerie's, complimented and insulted. Valerie's friend. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? All in one day. Valerie's friend who was there, she's Cuban. and But then, like, Valerie's, you know, all Mexican. And then, mm-hmm. but her friend's Cuban. So, I had, like, Cuban food and... Mexican food yesterday. Really? Which one wins? So was the Cuban food just like a like just some fat cigars? <laughs> hey, fried, no, kid. fried cigars. Yum. And, and, and rum. Yum. Yum. And rum. And rum. There were actually yeah, there was a lot of rum. Ew. Yeah, what are they, they freaking pirates? No, what are they, they Puerto just, Ricans? You just have Coke and rums or you have Oh, I thought you were gonna do something. I was the hell's wrong with you? you. Look like a Puerto Rican whore. It's from the Sopranos, you should know that. I've only seen those like five episodes, but yeah. I love Mexican culture. I've always like, like growing up in South Fort Worth where I grew up, just like and my friend Jose mm-hmm. lived down the street and we go to each other's houses all the time. And Do like, you, that's when I first experienced like the, you come home from school, but like we would go over to his place or something like that. And then his grandma lived with them. Oh, and best. you'd get the, the full hugs, like the, the cheek thing, the, you look hungry. Oy, mijito, yeah. Yeah. And he's like, look at you. Do you have a, like, you look like him in eating in days sort of thing. And like the full thing. And she's like, oh, cause I'm not God. fat. I remember, um, okay, this is the best part. I remember packing tamales when I was a kid and mm-hmm. being like, this is the worst thing I've ever done. But <laughs> yeah. Right. But whenever I was done with them, I remember like being like my first one, I was like, I showed it to his grandma. And I'm so like, happy. And I literally was, I thought, I I, I, my white, my, my seven, eight year old, white year old self thought, white year old. <laughs> heard that his, um, that his grandma's name was Abuela. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Abuela, look. And she was just like, oh. And there's a it stack. It looked like a Cheeto. It was there's a burrito. A, there's a stack of already made tamales. <laughs> and she put mine on the little plate next to it. <laughs> <laughs> she might as well have just put it right in the trash. And guess yeah. which ones I got to eat later too. Nice. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, these aren't very good. How were they? <laughs> they so, uh, well, not a lot of filling. <laughs> yeah, it was like no meat. Yeah, it was just like all like the lard and everything. Yeah, else. she's like this little just... German boy came over, called me grandma, <laughs> and made the worst tamales just, that we've it was ever a had. Burrito of masa. Oh yeah, pretty much. That's and beautiful. I remember like making tortillas too. Oh man, they, hey, they you, might as well just have been just. Do you know like, where Diamond Hill is? Terrible chips. I don't think so. Oh, Diamond Hill High. No. Mm-mm. It's in Fort Worth. That's where I. Well, I didn't, I grew up till like I was ten there, and then we moved to GP. Then you stopped growing, or what? Yeah, that's when I stopped growing. <laughs> Actually, fun fact: you'll I've, never be six feet. I've been the exact oh, same height you. since I was like fifteen. Yeah, I never grew. Same here. Same. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite part about Mexican culture, and why is it chilaquiles and food? Yeah. Oh, chilaquiles. You love chilaquiles. Love chilaquiles, bro. Green sauce. Green sauce forever. Yeah. Um, well, you gotta say it right. Salsa verde. It, uh, Salsa verde. What is uh, Salsa verde? What is it when it's 
Squirt and tequila together. Squirt and tequila. I've never heard of that. Squirt and tequila. Palenta or something like that? It sounds like a tequila sunrise. But Tequi- I love tequila for sunrise. For a redneck. I'm looking it up. <laughs> for a redneck. Oh, dude. Have y'all seen Queer Eye? The, like the rehash? Yeah. I have not. I wouldn't so call it a rehash. It good? Or whatever. This is really good. Paloma. Yeah, it is, it it's is called really Paloma. Good. Paloma. Paloma. Oh, Paloma's Dove? Paloma. There's this, uh, <laughs> there's this guy. He makes a... Uh, on, one of the dudes on there makes redneck margaritas, he calls it. Oh, the old guy. Yeah. Oh, he's so sweet. It's a tequila and Mountain Dew. Redneck margarita. In a mace in a mason jar. Margarita. I'm I want to be disgusted, but I feel like that would work. I know, right? That's what I, I said it, too. It, it looks but like I, I get a headache already. It just looks like about Gatorade. It. I said that. Oh yeah, it's Mountain Dew. So I said exactly what you said. I was like, I should be so offended by this drink, but I want to taste it. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And he makes one every day. I feel like it'd be good. Yeah. Sweet old man. But Did I say he'd be good? I feel like it'd be good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. All right. But I would have to say uh, tamales are my favorite. Get on the Those fucking are- mic. I'm going to get a big sign, a big neon sign in the studio that says, get on the fucking mic. Get on that microphone. <laughs> so um, as, a, as a Texan, would you say you prefer... Uh, Tex Mexican food or authentic Mexicano cuisine? Authentic, forever. Yeah. I like both a lot. Both. Yeah, I like both too. Both. Did yeah. you know that enchiladas aren't actually Mexican food? They don't yeah. Really make enchiladas in Mexico. Neither are. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, there was like a Mad TV skit about it. Uh, it's it's Keegan Michael Key, and he plays the Mexican working at a, at Taco Bell, but he's like straight up Mexican. <laughs> so they asked for a ch- they asked for a chalupa, and um, <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, a chalupa. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so they asked for a chalupa, and he's like, and he's straight up from Mexico. And he goes, he goes, oh, you want a chalupa? Well, let me go get some wood and like a wood filer and an axe because a chalupa is a small boat. And he's just like talking shit the whole time. Is uh, enchilada the kind, of, kind of the same thing? Yeah. Is an enchilada a chalupa? Uh, I don't know. What no, it's not a ch- <laughs> What is jackass? I like how like, he's like, like, wait, what? <laughs> It was a joke, Alex. No, I'm trying to think of what it could be. Okay, I think an enchilada directly uh, translated. Oh my God. But is it better than a chinchilla? Means inside of a chalada. Chupacabra, bro. Means within a chalada. Chupacabra. Chup- <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Chupacabra. So, what about you, Justin? What's your favorite Mexicano food? Uh, I don't know. Anything that involves avocado, really. Yep, it yep. can it can even just not be Mexican food too. I don't it really can just care. be an avocado. It can just be a straight up avocado. Yep. But you know, all we make here is Mexican food, straight up Mexican food, yeah. which is the best thing in the world. Mm-hmm. When her dad comes over and makes chilaquiles, yo, yep, I've had them. They're dope. It's unreal. Yeah, I, that's that's all. I mean, we grew up eating that stuff, and then yeah. every every now and then, mom would order a pizza. But like <laughs> other than that, like we've got yeah, you know, Gamma would come over and make our like she make enchiladas. And like the way that she would make them too had like a Tex Mex vibe. So like I grew up on on both. So Tex Mex and straight up authentic. It's like a hybrid of Tex Mex yeah, and Mexican. Yeah, Tex Mex Mex. Yeah. yeah. Two, actually, it's Mex Tex Mex. It's a two one combination. Yeah, yeah. Actually, my parents used to make different types of enchiladas. Uh, my mom would make a more Tex Mex style one, mm-hmm. like a casserole type thing. And uh, my dad would make more of a like more beaner type. One, I guess you know. Racist motherfucker. There it is. Even though I just said that, uh, like, uh, Mexican, I heard, they don't make enchiladas. <laughs> and I heard you when you said it in there, and you go, "I love beans." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I love beans. Hey, I heard this one comedian who was like, uh, I forgot who it was, but he was saying that he's like, Mexican food is just like different combinations of the same five ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Just cooked in different P- ways. People say this, they say the same shit about Italian food too. I'm like, no. It's just cheese and pasta. That's also true. I love it. Like, what's the difference between lasagna and a monocana? You know what I'm Mon- saying? Monocana. Chinchillas, and a, and a enchiladas, spaghetti. quesadillas. What about a spaghetti? And paneros. I heard, I heard the best thing the other day was uh, country music is just emo music for rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it's, red, now it's rap music for rednecks. God. FGL, man. Florida oh, Georgia F-G-L. line. FGL. Hey, F, F that F- GL. F the Georgia line. Yeah. <laughs> We make our own state line, you heard? Yeah. All yeah, right. Right, you got any final thoughts on Mexican food and why you uh, want to appropriate our culture? Um, no, just keep it. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. <laughs> keep it coming. Yeah. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good scheme of coming. <laughs> yeah, my final thought is uh, chimichanga. I don't, I, that's something to think about. That's it. You, yeah, think real hard on it. He's actually being very subtle with what he's trying to say. Yeah. All right, mine's super short. Uh, okay, why Greeks are nasty. <laughs> Let's hear about this Greek man shitting outside your window. I right. want to see for like the video at least where it's like, why Greeks are nasty. Oh no, it's gonna it's gonna be like, big, like, yeah, why red, Greeks are nasty. Bold right there. Let me tell you why. Tell me why oh, Greeks God. are nasty. All right, remember remember last week when we were talking about bestiality, and I was like, I think the Minotaur was a product of of bestiality. Oh no and way! I, I couldn't remember what it was. It's Greek mythology, isn't it? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, when I did the Norse mythology one, I had, I had a lot of people say like, oh, that was cool. That I liked mythology. Like, you should keep it coming. But I realize now that this is the second time that I'm bringing bestiality as, <laughs> as the mythology, so I feel bad. But well, if you think about one, it, all mythologies are bestiality. That's true. That's true. All right, so <laughs> it's basically the, I guess. the origin of the Minotaur. Uh, Minotaur. Which... Pops up in many much different stuff. Half man, half horse dick. And it's also in the movie Role Models. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Minotaur. Minotaur. Like, oh, yeah, and the energy drink. Yeah. Oh, wasn't it Minotaur brand or something yeah. like that? I forgot. All right, so in two ways. <clears throat> we got to backtrack. We got to start with a Greek inventor by the name of Daedalus. <laughs> I'm going to name my next cat that. Oh, also, I hope um, he's dead on list now. This is just a disclaimer. Like with mythology, there's a, there's a bunch of different versions of it, and uh, I probably am going to pronounce everything wrong. That's so. It's like the Bible. It's, yeah, it's not real. It's okay. Yep. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So dead on list. alienated ninety percent of our audience. Just We're a Christian making, podcast. Uh, just keep. <laughs> yep. All right. Tell us about this guy banging a horse. All right. So hit me with. <laughs> so there's this full dead on list, right? He was a famous inventor in at Athens, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? Like world renowned, and um, he had to flee Athens because want to know why? Because he was having sex with horses. No, false. Because so he had a, um, a what's it called? An apprentice, right? And uh-huh. it, it was his nephew. Actually, it was his sister's son. Ah, was, nepotism. His name was Talos. Actually, Talos. Right? Hey, that's from uh, Elder Scrolls. So, anyways, he uh, Talos be with you. Yeah, he took him on as his apprentice and uh, quickly realized that Talos was a way better inventor than he was. Oh, it's always about jealousy. And so he was like about 13 years old, and he was all like, hey, uh, Daedalus, I don't, I don't want to be your like, apprenti- uh, apprentice anymore. I want anymore. you to be my apprentice He was now. Mozart in it up. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, he was like why? And he was like, because I'm better than you, duh. And he's uh, like, check check, this, check yeah. this steel dagger out, bitch. Yeah, because he's probably like an annoying 13-year-old. Everybody knows one of those. <laughs> And so they, they just ha- played Minecraft, bro. They, they just happened to be on top of the Acropolis. Uh huh. And so Daedalus was like, oh, cool, bro. Boom, just kicked him off. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. In All a, right. In a fit of rage. Or maybe it was an accident. I don't know. Uh, but the point, I wasn't there. The okay. point is, is that the guards caught him at the gate trying to take something outside of the city, right? And they're like, hey, what's that? And is that like, illegal? Oh, oops, it's a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oops. Yep. Oops. Oops. Where so, did that dead body get in there? So Daedalus, who I'm, with all my ingots, you guys have probably actually heard of him before. You just don't know it yet. But uh, is the flu too close to the sun? No. Yes, guy, it is. It? Yeah. Daedalus. Yeah. There's a Thrace song. Yeah, it is. Flight of Icarus. That was Icarus. Mm-hmm. Icarus no. is his son. I, yeah, Icarus is his son. Oh. Yep. All right. Okay, that makes sense. That was a spoiler alert. But anyways, <laughs> so, stupid bitch. Yeah. So Daedalus and his son are forced to flee to Crete. All right, the city of Crete. They had to flee from Athens to Crete, which is where Kratos is from. Maybe. Science, maybe. <laughs> but see, right now, Crete—that's Mexican food for you. Crete and Athens are at war. Okay. Because here's why: the king of Crete, his name is Minos, and he had like a brother or something, and he went to Athens and fought like in this like thing, mm-hmm. and he got killed. Okay. So. I mean, really, they probably just wanted to go to war anyway, but he was like, my brother. My brother. Then, yeah, so they started war with Athens. He right? was my brother. So Minos is kind of like, oh, here's this, uh, this fucking 
inventor from my enemy place. He's like, let me go ahead and take him on, and you know, you can be one of my advisors or whatever. Hold on, real what quick. have you? So you know how uh, we were talking about maybe animating some of these episodes? These would be the episodes to animate. Oh my god! I just imagine your voiceover over like these Greek ass looking bitches. You yeah, know, it's like yeah, Greek whatever. Kill this guy. Looking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exciting. Make it happen. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Start sorry. animating now. Yeah, now. All right, so Minos is like, yeah, come on, buddy, you can come be my advisor or whatever. Imagine that. <laughs> Coming out of somebody with like a vine, like crown around his head. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing with Minos. He um, he was actually really full of himself, like all ancient Greek kings were, right? Mm-hmm. And um, they love themselves. You don't. But say. he had a lot of brothers, and you know how that goes, like you know, vying for power and whatnot. Uh-huh. Even though he's supposed to be the king, so yeah. he's Stannis. Yeah. So one day he's say, like, I've seen Game of Thrones. Yeah. I know how this goes. Exactly. Just like Game of Thrones. Yeah. So what better way than to tell your brothers that you're supposed to be the king than to appeal to the gods, ah. right? Which is never a bad idea. Never a bad idea. No. Especially if you're super full of yourself. So mm-hmm. apparently the god just kind of liked him though, because he was like, he, was, he, he says to his brothers, like he's like, yo, anything I pray for is gonna happen. Uh-huh. And he's like, watch this. So he prays to Poseidon, and he's like, give me a bull. And I'll sacrifice it in your name. So Poseidon's like, yeah, for sure. You seem like a cool guy. Here goes a bull, right? Boom. Out of the ocean comes okay. a, a majestic bull. Like a giant one or like just a, like a, like a cow? Well, there's, bull. Different, there's different stories So Poseidon about it. wanted a bull that he created to be slaughtered in, in his, his name. name? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm lost too. Yeah, because that, that's uh, <laughs> it's just like another Tuesday. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's it's all, they got nothing offering. better. To that's do. how they all are. The, yeah. God, the gods liked receiving offerings. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that they created in the first place. Exactly. See, so that, that seems like <laughs> don't question it. It's Greek mythology. Let me. It's all like this. Let me make myself a hand so I can pat myself on the back with it. That's exactly, exactly. what it is. <laughs> Holy shit! No, but that it makes it that much more cooler. Because you didn't just sacrifice any bull, you mm. sacrificed a bull that was the product of godly magic. Uh-huh. And so anytime in mythology when something, even if it's like fucking normal, like a rock, if a god gave you a rock, there's going to be something magical about that rock. I'd Makes that sense. on my keychain. Even if it's just a fucking rock. Yeah, yeah you put it on your keychain because it's going to protect you in some way. Or Can you make me a rabbit? Who knows? Foot? Yeah, so. Please. So even if it was just a bull, it was a bull that was a product of like godly intervention, mm. right? So. Yeah. But the thing about Minos, he was fully into himself, right? So it was like, he was like, this is a cool bull. I think I'm going to keep it. Oh, ah, shit. It's mine. Yeah. Uh-oh. So obviously, bad idea. Um, Poseidon wasn't happy. He was mm-hmm. pissed. He's like, you're supposed to sacrifice that in my name, dog. What happened? <laughs> that was my bull. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Just see it all. He's got to try it and he's That's like, my yo, dog. Bull, bro. <laughs> yep. So. Um, History lessons with Alex. <laughs> yeah. So he's like. You know what? I'm gonna curse your wife. Okay. He's like, you, he's like, you love this bull so much. I'm gonna make your wife love this bull. <gasps> no. So he sprinkles some god magic on his wife. Some Pat- pheromones. Poseidon uh, salt bays it up. Some pheromones. And I don't know how to say his wife's name. It's like Pasiphae or something like that. She Parfait. did Pasiphae. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Yeah. So his wife, pussy. <laughs> yeah, so his wife Pacifay. <laughs> She's gonna give up that pussy to that bull. Oh my god. So yeah, so at first she was like, Man, that's that's a cool bull my husband has, right? And then it started to just kinda like fester in her mind. She's like, That's a that's really a, cool bull. That's a good looking <laughs> that's a, bull. That's a really, really cool that bull. That bull is really doing right? something for me. And um it was obviously <laughs> God magic placed upon her by Poseidon. Uh huh. So it turned into Poseidon. like this maddening lust that she couldn't uh Get out of her body. Name me some bull dick. And so, bull dick. so she me that. she goes in secret to Daedalus, <laughs> uh-huh. right? Because he's like this renowned uh, inventor, 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 right? So and, he's already there in that place now. The yeah, he's in crate. crate. Okay. Yeah, and uh, he's like, "Don't tell my husband." She's like, "Don't tell my husband." I'm going crazy, right? And he's like, "I got you, I got you." <laughs> so he drink this bull semen. <laughs> no, he he in, he invents. A hollow cow body. Okay. A hollow cow body. Yeah, and use your imagination. Once you skip a few, okay. nine months later, we have a baby, <laughs> right? It's the body of a baby, head of a bull. Yeah. Can we talk about how it still takes nine months, even though it's a bull? <laughs> Was it a natural birth? Was it a C-section? <laughs> it it might have taken less than that. I don't know. Imagine Ace Ventura too when he's inside the rhino. The rhino? That's what mm-hmm. I imagine yeah. her as. What do you yeah. think the, uh, what's it called? 
where they have the, the umbilical cord. No the sonogram. Little, uh, sonogram, like the sonogram for that. I it's think like, this yep. is dates pre sonograms. I think it does too. Mm, oh. We'll have to check on that. I don't know. I can, yeah, fact check, fact check me, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> Take that, Trump. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. What? All right, so um, all right, so the bull got it in. Yeah, the bull boned Minos's a, wife. A human in a cow suit. Yep. Okay. And um, I imagine like the Chick Fil A cows. Okay, I'm a, I'm assuming that the only this is only possible because it is the bull of crate, mm-hmm. who is you know a uh, a product of God magic, mm-hmm. which. Uh, he actually turns up in other stories. Like I think it's one of Hercules' uh, trials has to do with him, with the bull, because okay. mm-hmm. uh, it's a magic bull or something. But I didn't actually, I didn't refresh on that one because I wasn't going to talk about it. But he's should- also the mascot for the Chicago Bulls. So basically, whenever um, I forgot the wife's name, it starts with a P. Pussy wagon. Passive. Oh. Pass- passive aggressive pussy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Pa- goes ahead and gives birth. Passive that minotaur. Means, what's his name? Is just like, that's not my baby. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. All right. That's a that's a good uh, segue into this. So basically, well, uh, obviously Minos was pissed. Are you sure? Yeah, but you know, even though he's kind of a dick, he loves his wife or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, she felt sorry for it. And for the like, devil baby. For the devil baby. And like begged her husband to not kill him, right? Please let so, me keep this monstrosity. Exactly. I was about to say it's it would be nothing less than a monstrosity. Yeah, yeah, but it's also half your progeny. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure there was some kind of like motherly, even though she was like, I hate this thing. Well, I mean, if she bore it, if she had it for nine months too, then sure. Because um, one of the one of the versions I read of it said that um, like as soon as it happened, the curse was lifted. So it's like she's like so lusting after this bull, and then he bones her, and then she's like, "What the hell did I just do?" Like, can you imagine that? It sounds like a like. like can you a, imagine the bath? Yeah, it sounds that like she I'm, just took. She took after that. It sounds like a metaphor for binge drinking. Oh, I am never drinking again. Yep, <laughs> that bull's out of my head. I don't want that bull. Ever. Or is it? <laughs> Anyways, um, so I guess you could say that kid is bullheaded. Well, yeah. So. So she felt she felt sorry for it and was like, "Don't kill it, please." But which was actually not a good idea because he grew way faster than a normal kid grew, and it turns out he had a lust for human flesh. <laughs> motherfucker, I eat everything. I eat pussy. I eat not, the butt. I eat not a every lust. Not a lust. A hunger, I should say. Yeah. Because see, this is what happened, right? <laughs> Hey, this is so stupid. So this is what happened. They kind of like obviously they didn't want anybody to know about it, right? So they uh-huh. they would keep him locked up. In the castle all day, like in a like prison cell, basically. Like Bart's twin brother. And then, uh-huh. uh, and then at night they would like let him out and be like, "Okay, go play, get some energy out, go <laughs> eat some kids." And they would lock him back up. No, but here's the thing: they didn't know that. That's oh, okay, what was they didn't know about it. Okay, but slowly and surely, vi- villagers started disappearing and stuff. Where my kids then, at? Then you know the minotaur. I think it might be that uh, that minotaur looking. Yeah, kid. the minotaur would come back. He'd be <laughs> I like, "Never trusted him." Might be that goddamn devil. He would come back. He'd be like, "I'm fool," and. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to bed, mom and dad. She's <laughs> got kind of like this. How was school day? Belly. I don't want to talk about it. I'm good, actually. Yeah. And so uh, Minos was like, shit, I got to do something about this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, oh, damn it. And uh, so he went to the Oracle, which is what they always do. They go to the Oracle. Yeah. yeah. I've the or- seen The Matrix. This yeah. is true. And the Oracle was like, you must build a labyrinth. Okay. Right? So he's like, all right, yo, Daedalus. Make me a labyrinth. Starts David Bowie soundtrack right now. Yeah. Yep. So Daedalus makes a labyrinth beneath the castle of Crate, mm-hmm. and they stick the Minotaur up in that hole. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is actually like two different stories put together, but uh, <laughs> what? Keep going. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there's like more story. There's more to the story, but I'm just going to do like the bare bones version. Okay. Uh, so Daedalus, uh, like, so as he's building it, he has a map and to get out every day. Right. Uh And then the day that they're going to finish, he's like, Oh shit, where's my map? (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Damn it. So so they almost get on the nightstand. They almost get trapped in there, but he's like, I fucking built this shit. I can get out. And so I forgot what he does, but he ends up getting out somehow. Mm -hmm. And, uh, King Minos was kind of like, all right, I can't let this guy live or I can't like, you know, he's. 
he got out, he might sell it to the Athenians to try to get his uh get his whatever back. You know, wow. might, you never know what he does. He might tell them the secret of the Minotaur. Yeah. He's like, you know, he's a loose end. He's I, a dirty Greek. He's like, I gotta tie up this loose end, right? So so the guards Yeah, the guards lock them up in this tower, right? Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> thanks for building this for me. Go, go have fun in prison. Exactly. And and uh, it's like oh, yeah. I just finished it. I just got I home. just got done. <laughs> also, I forgot to say this, but you know how um, so Athens and Crete were like at war or whatever. Yeah. But uh, so I guess Crete is like overlords of Athens for a while now, and then they're like every year or something, you got to give us like ten dudes or something, <laughs> and uh, they would just put the dudes in the labyrinth to never be seen again because the Minotaur would eat them. Nom, oh, nom. he does have to eat. Nom 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 nom, dude. Right, exactly. You did say you put that hoe in there, so here's a Minotaur. Motherfucker, I eat everything. I eat the pussy. I eat the butt. I eat every motherfucking thing. I eat the pizza. I eat the box. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. And okay, so the Athenians go up in there. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So they're in the tower. And then um, they're smart, right? So they're like, Are they? They're like, Hey, guard, uh, we're not going to escape or nothing. Can, you, can I just send my, my boy to the to the market to get some stuff? Hijinks ensue. Hey, guard's like, Yeah. He's, sure. like, he's like, I'm just hungry. <laughs> yeah. The, the guard looks at him and he's like, Eh, they ain't shit. He's like, <laughs> Yeah. He's like, he's like, Even if his son brings back like a shank, he's like, I could still choke him. So it don't it don't pay me no mind. Right? I hope that's in the scriptures. Can try. I hope that specific verbiage is in the scriptures. Yeah, but what the what Icarus goes to the store and brings back because uh, you know Daedalus already knew what was what, so he he already made this plan. Wings. Yeah, he goes to the market and buys wings. <laughs> you guys sounds like wings? an RPG. Yeah. No, no, he got, got wings over here. No, Do he, this quest for me, and I will give you buy, wings. He buys a bunch of beeswax and like some coats. That's what it was. Some coats, some feather coats. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and then the, he comes back, and the guards are like, "Okay, what the fuck, whatever." <laughs> you still ain't shit. You right? still ain't shit, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So in the night, while the guards are asleep, right, they get to work. Boom, boom, boom. He they take, don't have shift. Shifts. Yeah. But he starts making the wings, right? Like everybody's heard the story before, and obviously, you know, he's like, "All right, Icarus." Like Icarus ain't even paying attention. He's so excited. He's so dope. He's like, "Bro, look, let me show you how this works." You see, blah blah blah. And he's like, "Don't go too low." All right, the ocean, the water, it'll make the the feathers wet. They won't. It won't work with the air. No, we'll, fall, we'll die. Yeah. Okay. Don't go too high because the sun. It'll melt. The sun's the wax. up there, bitch. Boom. We'll dead. die. We'll die. Right. Watch your bitch ass out. And Icarus is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Cool. Whatever, ho. Cool, cool, cool. Science. Whatever. And then, uh, so he dies. Boom. Boom. Dead. Boom. One, two, skip a few. It looks like they, they fly away. They're flying. Sun. He's having so much fun. He dips down. He fills the water. He goes up. He's like flying so high. He's like, I'm a bird, motherfucker. <laughs> and then. The max w- the the wax melts and he falls into his doom. The max welts, and that's the flight of Icarus. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> also, Wait, that's not the yeah, story. The other half of the story is okay. To just to wrap up the whole Minotaur uh, arc is uh, so. There's this fool from where is he from? Athens. He's he will he. It's always one of the two. He was a son of the king of Athens, Aegeus. Right? Okay, so he's the okay. he's the prince, prince. Yeah, but um, he didn't grow up that way because mm-hmm. it was kind of like this thing where was he a bastard? No, he w- well maybe he oh. was. I don't. Ah. Know. I don't. Rem- comes back to Game of Thrones. It I don't. Really, I don't remember. Really does. I don't remember exactly if if he was a <laughs> bastard or not. But I didn't know that Aegeus was like, look, people are gonna try to take my throne and shit. I gotta like watch the throne. Yeah, I gotta. <gasps> they're like, this is this is my cousin, project. Uncle Kanye and Uncle Jay. Yeah, it's like this is the rightful heir to the throne. So I gotta like hide him away so that way nobody tries to slay him. So, so he, he holy shit. Yeah, so he he give, he sends the mom and him like off to some other place. Hide the kids, hide the like, wife. Yeah, he's like, whenever the time he's is right, everybody out here. When the time is right, if he's my son, he'll be like, I'll know. He'll 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 find his way back to me. He's like, look, see this boulder. He lifted up this boulder by some kind of like magic or something. Mm-hmm. He put like some okay. he put some like chanclas and uh, <laughs> and a sword in there. He's like, it's it's my sword, right? He's like, my son. It, like when he gets here, he'll be able to lift it if it's my son, and you know he'll have his weapons, and then he'll find his way back to me or something, right? Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. So you that, little shit. That's actually the it's Theseus, right? So a bunch of shit happens in between here and now, mm. but, but I'm trying to one two skip a few. So yeah. So he finds his shit under the boulder because it's his, he's the true heir of the of Athens, right? And then you know he hears a story about the the Crete. The Cretans keep coming and taking the dudes from Athens, right? And he's like, I got to do something, right? So he lets himself be taken 
to go be one of the tribute to the to Creek. He's like, shit. So he he's like, I volunteer as tribute. Uh, so he <laughs> so he uh, when he gets there though, mm-hmm. Minos's daughter peeps him. Right, her name is uh, Ariadne. She peeps Theseus and she's like, damn. Name before she falls in love instantly with that bull dick. Like no, with Theseus. Oh, oh, oh. man, man dick. Yeah, Ari- I'm sorry, I get all these names mixed up. Ariadne Grande. <laughs> so um, so as as he's like marching to the. Uh, you know, to the uh, fucking labyrinth, right? She's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so much to keep up with. <laughs> she's like, she's like, yo, Theseus, psst, psst. he sees her. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here, bitch? <laughs> and she, uh, you my side hoe, not my real one. Okay, she she goes she goes up to him, right? And they they like high five like this. Right? Oh shit! But, but instead of putting drugs in his hand, yeah. she puts a sword and a ball of yarn. <gasps> That's one hell of a handshake, right? <laughs> she gives him a sword and a ball of yarn. And he's like, Wipes okay. Off. Yeah, and she just like real quick whispers in her ear, there's a fucking minotaur in there. You gotta use <laughs> okay. right, she he's tells like, him, bitch, what the fuck am I going to do with this yarn? She, she tells him basically everything, right? So he's like, oh, okay, okay. So, right, they, they lock him in there. He's like, fuck, right? But he starts, boom, he starts using the yarn, right? Leaving a trail to get out, right? Oh. oh. They're going to make like a kunai with chain, you know? No, no, no. no. He, he uses the yarn to find his way back to the entrance. Uh-huh. But he got the sword. He's a hero. He's a Grecian hero way from way back in the day so here comes a minotaur and he's like bitch shank shank he did <laughs> that's it then he uses the yarn to get out that's it that's it them nasty ass greeks <laughs> all right yep no this is why they're nasty because they uh, oh you, there's more why they're nasty no the nasty no, part the, was the the, the the creation oh i thought you were about yeah. to say something else the that's minute, why yeah the, the whole thing they're nasty the minotaur's inception you heard it here first Aww. if you eat euro it's actually Minotaur meat. Minotaur meat. It's hollow pit, uh, hollow cow meat. Ew. Does that mean he... Ugh. That's what you call dirty road beef. Hashtag cringe. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, yeah, there you have it. Okay, so yeah, just uh, final, my final thought r- right quick is that uh, this was a super duper abridged version <laughs> of like three stories put together. Really? Yeah. Um so if you're interested or you, you enjoy Greek mythology as I do, go check it out. and uh, make Throat worm! That was like a throat burn. Uh, make, make your own animated series out of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> Animate us, please, with his overdub. Oh, yeah, so cool. super abridged. I left, out, I left out a lot of stuff because I was trying to just get the overview. I can't believe there's more to it. <laughs> I mean, it's, no. just, it's just kind of more like deets and stuff. To, yeah. More deets. Okay. Well, stomach hurts now. Yeah. All right. That's good. I'd try, I'd try that Giro. Giro. Good. Giro. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's how these uh, actually. So there's that was partially some of the origins of Theseus, mm-hmm. and then uh, the story of Theseus and the Minotaur mm-hmm. and Daedalus and Icarus and just some other stuff, like just kind of like sprink, sprinkled in there too. Greeks are some nasty ass bitches. <laughs> yeah, gr- yeah. Greek mythology is rampant with just hor- nasty, ass terrible shit. stuff. But but rule Look one, rule one is just don't fuck with the gods. Ass bitch. True. Don't fuck with the gods. If homeboy hadn't been uh, all you know greedy and shit, greedy yeah. ass idiot. Mm-hmm. I, feel like, I feel like I feel like that's Greeks. rule number two. If you're a king, mm-hmm. you're you're gonna be greedy. Yeah. If you're don't well, number one, don't fuck with the gods. Number two, if you're a king, you're greedy. Number three, nobody pray for me. Nobody pray for him. Yeah. Not even a day for him. Yep. Well, that's disgusting. I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. That's fantastic. What's yours, Justin? Justin? You ready for mine? Yep. All right, my man. Guess what? What? It's another list for you today. I like lists. Because these are fun, informative, uh, interactive. So. You say fun and formative? Top 10. Yeah. Number the, four, you won't believe. This is actually the top. 56, but I'm not going into oh nearly all God. of them. Oh, my God. This is, so what was my thing? Uh, trolling academia. Yeah. This is the best slash worst analogies. So these are all analogies that have been used in high school and college papers. And they are oh. as bad as they are good. Oh, man. So I'm going to start with the first one. Just Wait, to, are they as bad as uh, cars that are flying? I was about to say, I'm surprised he didn't make like an analogy one with it. Yeah, yeah that's, I know. Quite possibly. Number one, her eyes were like two brown circles 
with big black dots in the center. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even an analogy. It's just, it's just terrible, it's like, just description, description of something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, number two. <laughs> he was as tall as a six foot three tree. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh man! Wait, what do you think about that one? That's actually probably <laughs> racist. <laughs> Tree looking ass. Tree looking ass. At least they aren't Greek. Uh, her face was a perfect oval, like a circle that had its two sides gently compressed by a thigh master. That's actually good. That's really good. I don't know, man. It's a what? <laughs> I like it's a it. Little, yeah. like, it's a little too descriptive, you know. I know. It's like- it was as an oval that was like a circle that wasn't a circle anymore. <laughs> and because the thighs pushed it into a face. With the, yeah. John and Mary had never... Get- by thigh master. <laughs> <laughs> and these so are good. real too. These it's are so good. Are, John and Mary had never met. They were like two hummingbirds who also had never met. Why? <laughs> so, so far, my biggest thing is just like... But what's the point of like adding? No, no, no. I actually, I actually understand this one. I understand this one because hummingbirds like the fuck. So what he's saying is that stick that beak in me. They had never met. Nobody but prayed they, for me. But they wanted to fuck. I, I wonder if it's uh. You remember how like in high school when you had like the tax test and you had the essay portion and you had to write at least this many. Oh, things. so you just use all the filler you can. Maybe, you're, maybe that's what this you're is. You're dating us too because. Uh, Oh, tax? Yeah, they don't what have is it, that stars anymore. stars now? I don't know what no, it is. It went, I think it went back to tax. At least oh, did it? Is what Actually, it is. when we were really little, when Toss. We were, when Toss, I was about to say, Toss says, when we were Toss, fourth graders, yeah. Tax. Fifth stars. graders. Stars. Elysium is next. I couldn't even tell you. I can't even. I don't All right, keep it, keep, it, keep it going. Yeah, she, keep it coming. She had a deep, throaty, genuine laugh, like that sound a dog makes before it throws up. <laughs> 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 if I was a teacher and saw that, I'd be like, how hey, plus forever. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's quite as good. The ballerina rose gracefully on point and extended one slender leg behind her like a dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Why>? my God. <laughs> this one is... Uh, <laughs> this one is... Uh, <laughs> okay. Creative. Okay. This was great. Yeah, I just didn't know how to, how to describe it. That's your it. troll word. He, yeah, he would. Okay. Are you he was, <laughs> No, I'm just trying like, because there, there's 56 these. of them. I highlighted some of them, but I'm trying to read through some more. He was as lame as a duck. Not the metaphorical lame duck either, but a real duck that was actually <laughs> lame. Maybe from stamping on a landmine or something. <laughs> Why? Oh, what, what? Man, wait, was that a... <laughs> That's, that's a good paper. Okay. That sounds like something I would a bunch read. It's just He's a bunch like, of words that they do together. <laughs> that was literally just like, no, not like you really think. It was more like this. Isn't that crazy? That, the funny thing too is like I'm discovering some of these as we're re- going through them right oh now. Oh my god! Right, there's one. The little boat gently drifted across the pond exactly the way a bowling ball wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's an anti analogy. <laughs> shots rang out as shots are wont to do. I <laughs> would you look at that? <laughs> would you, like some of them seem like it was like writ, like these were written by like pretentious like wannabe writers sort of thing. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> they're just like it's like they're they're using things that like they've heard, mm-hmm. but it's just not, wrong. They're going for like a, a fourth wall breaking thing. Like, isn't that just crazy? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> they do this. <laughs> anyway, back to the story. <laughs> They just look over at the camera like, oh yeah, they pretty anyway, witty, huh? Yeah, <laughs> they they do something that's not even really a fourth wall break, but then they're just like this, and then like the uh... <laughs> he fell for her like his heart was a mob informant and she was the East River. That is so specific. <laughs> that's dark. It's really dark. They See, hit- like I don't think kids write like that. I feel like some of those, like like that one specifically, someone thought that out. That's someone why legitimately I think thought you'd that be out. surprised. I yeah, think, that's true. I think <laughs> a lot of these are a lot smarter than they seem. So that's why I call it trolling academia because I feel like these are just just they found it on the such internet. Subtle <sighs> trolls, you know, just they just know the what right amount, just perfect. Um, this one's really specific too. The hailstones leaped from the pavement just like maggots when you fry them in hot grease. 
Well, I'll be damned. Michael. What? <laughs> You're like, how are they, we got to try this. How are, the, how are those maggots, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> this, one my, this might be my favorite one. She walked into my office like a centipede with 98 missing legs. Okay. <laughs> he basically said nothing. What a walk. He said literally nothing. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, the plan was like she walked into my office as if she was naked, except she was wearing clothes. (laughs) It's exactly that's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, the plan was simple, like my brother-in-law Phil. But unlike Phil, this plan just might work. What I don't is he saying? Phil's lazy, and he's also yeah, and he's also doesn't work. He's also immune to AIDS. Oh, simple Phil. (laughs) Oh, Jason, take me. She panted, her breast heaving like a college freshman on one dollar beer night. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, that's that clearly is from experience. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. No, the guy who wrote that paper knows what's what. That was written on Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> that's yep. what I'm saying. That's why. Yep. That's why these are these are. I think these are clever trolls. These aren't you know just really really badly written. No, all I'm saying is the guy who wrote that paper has clearly seen some action. <laughs> yes, at the end of the paper, it just says, "Just give me an A." He knows what's what. <laughs> it was an American tradition, like fathers chasing kids around with power tools. Don't worry. There's nothing more American than that. <laughs> nothing more American than that. All right, I got a few more. <laughs> this is America. He was yeah. as bald as one of the three stooges, either Curly or Larry, you know, <laughs> the one who goes, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> You know. He didn't, he didn't take the time to do a little research <laughs> and figure out who he's trying to reference. You know, the whoop, whoop one. <laughs> oh, this one's bad. Her eyes were shining like two marbles that someone dropped in mucus and then held up to catch the light. I walk to remember. <laughs> yep. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I feel that's like good. that's the same person as the other eye analogy one. I'm going to make this Ugh. the last one. All right. The, da- the dandelion swayed in the gentle breeze like an oscillating electric fan set on medium. Mm. That's very specific. I feel that on like a, like my soul feels that. I know that feeling. I don't know that feeling because my fans are only ever set on high. <laughs> Right? And they don't when oscillate. In. I never oscillate and they stay right on me the whole time. I don't use the oscillate. You walk with it. No, sometimes <laughs> sometimes I do the oscillate because um I like I like it to, to feel new again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like it feels colder if it's like, oh I'm hot. Oh, there it is. I don't like, like that. It's like, oh I'm hot for oh there I want it. It's like trying to like cold. surprise his body. It's back now, yeah. And this one's for uh, this was for people like you, like Photoshop Bring wizards back now, and experts. Yo. Uh, okay. The sunset displayed rich, spectacular hues, like a .jpeg file at 10% cyan, 10% magenta, 60% yellow, and 10% black. I know exactly what that what? means. <laughs> Does this speak to you, Patrick? Does that, that one specifically speak to you? Those are just colors put together. Hey, hey, do you hear that? That's the toilet. Okay. This is your first time hearing the toilet. That's so a bomb. It, it's always been that way. We got to fix it. So yeah, um, was that uh, the house inspection? No, it wasn't. Should have been possible bro science. She was as unhappy as when someone puts your cake out in the rain, and all the sweet green icing flows down, and then you lose the recipe. And on top of that, <laughs> you can't sing worth a damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the realization they they hit you in waves. <laughs> no, that was like a two sentence horror story. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit! It was. <laughs> Two sentence, ter- oh, two sentence trolling story. It's too real at that point, though. Yeah. <laughs> they were as good friends as the people on Friends. Mm. Mm-hmm. I know, I know their friendship. Fair yeah. enough. Only '90s kids would know. Fair enough. Yeah. The top ten friendships. So yeah, this article popped up a few days ago, and I was just rolling. Like the first three of them, I was like, okay, this is too good not to bring in. <laughs> So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I did. Yeah, that, I just, that was I, great. I give you, uh, I give you as like if two thumbs were up. Really, <laughs> that's pretty great. Uh, the red brick wall was the color of a brick red Crayola crayon. I think you said that was the last one, and you just keep going after you wrapped it up. Oh, he's gonna get him tattooed on. There's like now. 48 more. Are you, are you just gonna keep saying them like through the through Patrick's next uh, interest? I have How'd another you know? one, like in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I do have another one. How'd you know? Do y'all want to hear another one? We can uh, make, yeah, we can of make course. This one quick. Yep. I know. All right. What are we talking about again? We're talking about her pants fit her like a glove. <laughs> well, maybe more like a mitten, actually. Well, you know. 
Mittens. <laughs> My, <laughs> like a glove. Nah, more like a mitten. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Actually. Should it, I erase that? Nah. Actually, it was kind of like those leather gloves that people that tough guys wore in the eighties that had the fingers cut off. I, is it is it fingers bad that I actually gloves. like those? The fingers gloves. The fingers gloves. Yeah, dude. There's some stuff that I wish that you could wear, but I, it, just, I know it, yeah. I know you just can't wear. Yeah, like uh, t- like a lot of belts, like uh, Zidane from Final Fantasy Nine. Do you oh, know what yeah. I'm talking about? Or like the? Do you know uh, what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Or do you mean like McBride fell twelve stories, hitting the pavement like a hefty bag filled with vegetable soup? Just like that. Um, <laughs> actually, one time I uh, I cut a belt and poked holes in it, super short, because I I oh the thigh belt. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. But everybody everybody vetoed it. But I was like, I think it's cool. Oh But no. everybody vetoed it. I thought it'd be cool to wear a belt on your thigh. No. I still kind of think it's cool, but I just know that you Bring can't. Bring it back, Alex. No, no. I, I know you can't. It's okay. Maybe, I, I realize you can't. Maybe if it was you and like an Indian and like a police officer and like a fireman all together singing YMCA, no then maybe it would no work. No Greeks. Hey, also in the- No Greeks. No Greeks. Also in the 80s, uh, in football, you used to wear like a half shirt under your pads, and uh, now you wear like kind of like an underarm type thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, underarm type thing. Oh, I know what you mean. And I was like- like the cutoffs, yeah. Like, like and uh, I, I was like, I want to bring. Top. I was like, I want to bring that back for dudes, but it's just gay now. Yeah, like back, <laughs> like in the eighties, it was like something that athletes had, you know. Yeah. So like, because I, Troy I was, did it. I wasn't. Was cool. I wasn't there, but I'm pretty sure like they would like lift weights in them and stuff. It was like, oh, that's a manly guy. He wears a half shirt. It's like when you watch Pain and Gain, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Right. So that's one of the things I was like, I'm going to bring back the half shirt, and I, it didn't work out. Yeah. I or just like look gay. On Amazon and eBay, how they, they have like the, the really anime looking like Final Fantasy like jackets, but yes. cloak jackets. And people yes. are like, oh, that's so cool. It's only $20. It gets to them like eight months later. It's like four sizes too small. Yep. And it turns yep. out it was originally made for like yeah. rocks to that's wear, it. not humans. <laughs> that hoodie that I have is uh, it's a, an extra, it's a double XL in China. Mm-hmm. And it's a, basically a small here. And if you try I'm to put sad. it on, it just like it just I'm, I'm breaks sad. Anyway. Son of a bitch! It just deteriorates. I'm sad because I want to wear like a belt on my waist, mm-hmm. and then I want to wear a belt that starts on my left <laughs> and it goes down belts. diagonally. And then I want to wear a belt like on my starts on my right, and then it goes down diagonally that way to make an X. Mm-hmm. So like three belts. Yeah, you know. But I know I can't. You I just want to be inefficient. It's just weird. No, dude. Yeah. Wakanda. Wakanda. It's my style. On your legs. It's my stale. You and the belts. Yeah, I feel like belts are cool. He felt like he was being hunted down like a dog in a place that hunts dogs, I suppose. All right, Patrick, personality disasters, go. I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, next time you come on. Oh, I'm totally down. All right. <laughs> Give me one more. Okay. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. How did I not see this? It hurt the way your tongue hurts after you accidentally staple it to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? What does it sound like, my man? Fatality. Yep. I would want to be dead if that happened. <laughs> when, next time when I staple my tongue to the wall. Because you bleed out? You bleed out? You bleed out? There's too many capillaries. He was deeply in Shut love. Shut up. When she spoke, he thought he heard bells as if there were a garbage truck backing up. More like garbage it's not truck a kid. bell, it's a beep. It's like a boop, boop, <laughs> boop. Alex is that teacher where he sees that. He's like, dude, that's not even like the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I really am that guy because uh, on, what is it? Oh, Cards Against Humanity. You know how people just put like the most like ridiculous card they can find? Without it being like, in, like it can't even yeah. make sense context-wise. Yeah, exactly. For me, I'm a, st- <laughs> I'm a stickler for like it has to like... Makes sense. Like if yeah. the if the verbiage is off or something, I'm yeah. like instant X, instant no. It's like the flow is off. Yeah. I, so for me, it has to be funny and creative, but it also has to like flow. Yeah. 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 The make, thunder was ominous sounding, <laughs> much like the sound of a thin sheet of metal being shaken backstage during the storm scene in a play. And they're all just run on sentences at this point. Yeah. Right? They have no. They have. There's no punctuation at all. I zoned out in order to not listen to you, as if I was like someone who could not hear. Ooh, he smells bad, she thought. <laughs> as bad as Calvin Klein's obsession would smell if it were called enema <laughs> and was made from spoiled Spam burgers instead of natural floral fragrances. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, if you I did, get, you I can give like us. I give her an A++. Plus. 
You can like us, uh, subscribe us, yeah, review us, rate, mm-hmm. yeah, Rivero uh, us, yeah, Rivero. Tell your friends, uh, share all that shit, yeah. Share uh, that shit. Her yeah. artistic sense was exquisitely refined, like someone who can tell butter from "I can't believe it's not butter." That's an well, actual. That's, that's like, pretty good. That's a like a that's a that's six right exquisitely there. that's impressive refined. So Patrick. Patru. 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 Wait, Patroclus. 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 Where can we find you, my man? Oh, I'm on, I'm on social media and stuff. There you go. Um, follow me on there Twitter, underscore Patrick Hunter, underscore, or on uh, Instagram, just at Patrick Hunter. Or Twitter subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Patrick Hunter. And then subscribe to these guys, Idiot Syncratic, because my man, they're pretty cool. What? You see that? Subscribe to them like a person would subscribe to... <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> to Joe Rogan. To, to a podcast that they like subscribing yeah. to. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of come by more. You should. For you sure, should you live will. over here so we can finally be friends. I'm down. Yeah, so that you be on a basis. Give me that spare room. They're all taken room. I'll give you, right there. I'll give you $2 cash. That's my other podcast room. For my other wow. podcast. Yeah. Wow. I can't do a two in one. No. Yep. He's a liar. You know, as if someone no, who like, would lie. As if the ancient, the ancient 10 stringed instrument. Oh, that's actually pretty good. See, that's too well. Actually, that's too. That's too good. That. That's too good to be one of these. Like I saw some on here that it, are like, like it that. makes too much sense. Yeah, I saw yeah, some on here. I hear like you. That. I hear you. Um, all right, do we got any voicemails today, my man? You better bet your sweet bitch ass we do. Wow. So, uh, Mr. Huge Jack fan decided to call back in. My again. fan. Hey, it's your boy. Is he drunk? <laughs> it's a me. Just wanted thing. to say sorry for the messages. <laughs> I was talking to y'all with my head out the window. <laughs> All right, nigga, gotta do what a nigga gotta do. Okay, he's gotta do what he's gotta and, do. It. Um, dropping some in bombs. Yep. We don't know what race he is, so appreciate it. Yep. I do. like the seriousness y'all did for this show. Were we serious? I forgot. Well, episode, I guess. What were we talking about? I, I like the, the Hugh Jackman part, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Hugh Best Jackman. Part. Yeah. Did y'all know he has a coffee now? I'm going to try that out. Sounds I didn't know good. that. What? That's good to know. Thanks for. But. <laughs> um, Wait. He's not done, bitch. Well. <laughs> it's like whatever. Knock, you... knock. <laughs> Who's there? That's where you say who's there. He just said it. <laughs> interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Say interrupting moo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it too fa- too fast. Too fast. Thanks, thanks to you, Jack fan. Um, hey, guess what? He called back in. Hey, <laughs> it's me again. It's me. I'm sorry about the last message. <laughs> it's hot out here, you know. For a pimp. You know it's hot. Hot out here for a pimp. Hey. <laughs> what? Are you a huge Ball Jack fan? <laughs> oh, oh man, I totally pouring called out of me. The anger is just pouring out. I of didn't me. mean to unleash it at y'all. I'm gonna go unleash it on my puppy or something. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god! I would love to be a part of a show. <gasps> Only thing is, I'm not. I'm not cheap. Ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's all goes out money. Is, I charge my- per the minute. For the minute. For the minute. This is one of them glorious voices you hear. Yeah, but maybe I'm it's like one rupee per minute. You just give like, I'm saying I'm the songbird of my generation. I'm going to take that right. as a soundbite. The step, millennial step songbird. Brother, step brother you know what I'm saying? He's a millennial? But, um. Manilio. Love y'all. <laughs> Te amo. Keep up the great work. Te amo. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. Again, my knees hurt. I've been slapping them. You guys are funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um, That's good. That's good. All right, wrap, wrap it up, wrap it up. Is that the right word, toodles? And that's where it ends. What did he say? He said toodles. He wanted oh, to make toodles. sure that was the right word. Toodles? Thanks, Mr. Huge Jack toodles. fan. Yeah. Huge Jack fan. Actually, you know what? This is just for you, because I totally forgot. But you know what? Uh, the Minotaur's bottom half was like Hugh Jackman. Just saying. See that? Rock hard, that's solid just dick. That's just science, man. It's just yeah. science. It was as if it was sculpted from the bottom half of Hugh Jackman. And then we got another voicemail. I don't know who it's from because I, ha- I ain't done heard it yet. And this came in, I think it might have been while we were recording. So that's why. Oh, cool. Let's see who I it lo- is. I love last minute voicemails. 
What's up, guys? It's your boy, Milkman Danny. Yeah. Over his foot. Anyway, I just wanted to call and let you guys talk to you guys about uh, this super awesome uh, experience I had at Acon 29 in Fort Worth. You called Dude. it. He called so it. Dude. Their systems went down for your badge registration. I heard about that. For your badge and registration. And me and my nephew had to wait in line for five hours. His nephew's his name is Talos. Five, five whole fucking hours. Actually, a little over five hours. We got there at two. And we finally got our badges at 7.30. Oh, no. I believe. And, leave. you know, it <laughs> was advertised left. as a four-day con, but nothing was open on the first day. Oh, Literally, the no. first day was just badge pickup. What the fuck? So, yeah. That wow. was fun. I guess it's not a four-day con. But not really. <laughs> um, I guess you could, yeah. say, you could say the, four, the four, four days was, was the first, con. So, there's oh. that. Uh. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are probably recording right now, so I'm going to cut this here. I hope you guys have a good podcast and don't suck. Twitch.tv slash looking at Danny. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm plug myself real quick. Yeah, yeah. good job. So, uh, <laughs> speaking yeah. of plugs, all catch, right. Catch him on Twitch or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and I asked him about his, his punk ass podcast too. I was like, when's that episode of Weeb Watch going out? And he's like, oh. He's like, I'm like uh, dragging my feet and stuff because yeah. I'm a millennial and I do stuff on my own pace. He's like, which is, he's like, I gotta go to Acon 29 and wait in line for five uh, hours with my nephew. Which means it's gonna be like at least one because I haven't woken up until 12 30 because that's when we wake up. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, he's closer to Gen Z than millennial. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, again, thanks, super, super big thanks to Urban Alchemy for the uh, house blend today. We uh, yeah. had the chance to try this, this amazing, amazing brew out. It was incredible. It's mm-hmm. hefty, like a like a bag filled with a vegetable soup. <laughs> what did it say? Um, what? Can you tell us about the, about the brew? Not with that. Okay. This is what I thought about the brew. Oh, was it not was it not up to your likings? As the brew hit my lips, he's gonna he's gonna do one. It was as if <laughs> <laughs> it was. As if the gods had came from above and poured some sort of coffee bean based liquid that just hit my palate and covered it and filled me with pure joy, pure happiness. And then I felt really hyper. And I decided that I should try to make some wings. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way, my man. I feel the same way. Yeah. Like, really, my only problem with it is I just didn't have more of it. So yeah. thanks for not making enough for me. Oops. Well, we didn't even want you here to begin with. So uh, yeah, it's a blend mm. of Costa Rican, Brazilian, and Guatemalan beans. Beans. Son. Yeah. Yep. Me- yeah. Medium full body, medium acidity, fruity, sweet, with caramel notes. And t- I'll tell you what, I can taste those caramel notes. I you know can that- definitely, definitely taste them. Yeah, they were, they were good notes. They were for sure high notes. For sure high notes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh- so again, check them out. Urban yeah, Alchemy Coffee house. and Wine Bar, 403 East Main Street. They're open from Monday through Saturday. What time, Alex? Seven. Two. Ten. Hey, you finally got it right. Seven Absolutely. To 10 PM. That's what yep. it is. So go check them out. Let them know the idiot sent you. Yeah, they're open always, so just be there. Yeah. You know, and also my mama always said, nothing good ever happens after ten or before seven. So there you have it. Dang. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we also had some new listeners, my man. Oh, cool. In different from different new countries. Countries, my man. Oh, uh, BC, India. It India. just says India. We had one play in India recently, so. Oh, cool. It doesn't even say this. The uh, what is it? A region. I love curry. <laughs> oh.